Good morning everyone. I uh, just want to show you a little experiment we're doing on our on our school farm here. Growing uh, some multi-species cover crops to try and uh, improve the soil health and increase the level of carbon being sequestered into the ground, hopefully. We've got lots of different plants, sunflowers, forage sorghums, grain sorghums, cow peas. You can see a cow pea plant twisting and tangling and growing up up the canopy of the um, forage sorghums. You can also see one here wrapped around a sunflower plant. Um, yeah, this is about six foot high, most of it. Really dense, you know, you cannot see the ground. Um, lots of material in here. It'd be really cool to take a meter square and see how much dry matter is growing here. That's something we'll do soon to try and work it out. But, uh, it's just, yeah, thick as a jungle. Lots of organisms living in here. There's a cowpea plant that's grown tangled all the way up a forage sorghum plant. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, throw out into this paddock a lot of ryegrass and clover seed and uh, chicory. And then we're going to put the cattle in here. So we'll put about 25 head of cattle in here for probably about a day and just see what happens um, when, we, when we take the cattle out and we'll just see what germinates. So the cattle should eat a lot of the material and trample a lot of it into the ground and then um, it should uh, hopefully uh, set us up for a little bit of a, a winter um, pasture, our winter pasture up for, for growing really well. So we should have a lot of carbon sequestered into the soil. We should have a lot of nutrients returning back to the soil from the exudates that these plants are putting back in. And also our cattle will get some benefit out of it as well. So the sunflowers are, are um, attracting the bees and other insects that pollinate. Um, you can see there's lots and lots of uh, little insects running around and crawling over the leaves. Um, there is, yeah, just a lot of life in here. Hopefully no big snakes getting about, but anyway, we'll cope with that as we come. We've got my shovel there. Um, yeah, so it's good. So next time we do this, I want to um, hopefully um, put in some things like pumpkins and squash as well into the mix, just to see what that does. So, and there's a couple of bees there doing their thing. So this has been a good experiment, basically doing this with our year 11 uh, preliminary ag class and the other classes are getting to have a look at it as well but it's uh, been very cool very very uh, interesting to watch the development we've been really lucky with the rain and uh, I'll take more videos as we as we go progress through just to see how it follows um, you know in production terms so catch you later thank you